Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. I'm I'm really interested in in one other thing. I, you've done so much science. I just, I could talk to you for hours, but of course we don't have hours. So yeah. one of the early things you did is is you contributed greatly to the tectonic plate theory. Yeah, that that and was my first biggie, the plate the tectonic biggie. theory. Yeah. Now. You led to when people would say, you know, Dave, Dave, what race are you? I would say I'm Pangean American. That's right. That's right. <laughs> In other words, I'm human. Well, but this is because and, and of your work. And you're very old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, it's so beautiful because when I was going to school, the geology book uh, was gobbledygook. And I remember you know, going through it and saying, I just don't quite get it. And they said, well, you're not snob smart enough but when we what i have found in science when we finally figure it out it's simple that's the beauty of it you know when you look at all the equations that preceded e equals mc squared uh, uh boom the, the blackboard was full of of equations i always tell people if you can't tell a fifth grader what you're doing you don't know what you're doing so it, you can always when you finally crack the nut explain it to Remember, I'm first of 13 generations of my family to go to college. And I was able to sit down with my grandma and explain plate tectonics, and she got it. So it's pretty simple. The earth is alive. You have to think of it as the concept mm -hmm. of Gaia, that the earth is a dynamic feature. It's It has pieces. We call them plates. They're about 22 of big ones. And those plates are doing one of three things not for one of three things. They're either moving apart. And when you rip open the earth, it bleeds its molten blood, rises from inside its body up to the crack that's called the mid-ocean ridge where the plates are separating. Just like blood, it's liquid, it coagulates and it forms new tissue called ocean, oceanic crust. And then as it moves away from its site of Genesis, it bumps into another plate because the earth is not getting bigger or smaller. So there's a dance going on, a dynamic mm -hmm. dance going on. And then when the plates collide, one subsides against the other and remelts. That's where we get the big earthquakes in Japan and Indonesia. And then there's a third kind of behavior where it's not doing this, not doing this, but going by that way. And that's called the San Andreas Fault is a transform fault. You have San Francisco sitting on the North American plate, Los Angeles sitting on the Pacific plate, and the two towns are going towards one another. It's going to be a long time before the Dodger Giant games across town rivalry, but it will <laughs> it will get those two cities will get closer. Your height in your lifetime, they're getting closer, and that's plate tectonics. Bingo, end of story. And <laughs> And it's so beautiful because then we know how the earth works and all the resources of the earth were not put here by an Easter bunny. They were systematically made <laughs> by plate tectonics. So we now know where to look. It's amazing. A Rosetta stone we were given in the sixties. And I was lucky to be in that graduate student period and mount the historic famous project that confirmed the theory uh, in 1970, uh, 72, three and four. It was cool. 